Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. Monday is it the 17th. Monday the 17th. God, there's so much stuff going on. Monday the 17th with loads of stuff going on. Let me show you on the camera. Look at that. All of that stuff and the other stuff. So we've got Venus entering Cancer and Mercury entering Cancer. <gasps> nice. And the summer solstice is coming up. God, does that mean like in the UK we've got the summer solstice, which means we're kind of at the longest day. But I feel like we're just beginning, like we haven't, as the carpenters would say, um, because we haven't really had a summer. I know, I'm watching one of the kids um, in one of the houses holding a cat. <laughs> oh. Also, we have the cleaner at large. Anything could happen. Um, yeah, no one's in there at the moment, but I'm expecting people, I'm expecting people and I'm putting hand cream on this one, which I found on the floor under the sofa. I know, I'll report back as to its efficacy. I've been dancing in the kitchen again today. Thank you for everybody who's let me know what you're doing, dancing in the kitchen and your 80s bonanzas. Today I was dancing to Jerry Rafferty. I know, it's a bit of a throwback, isn't it? Jerry Rafferty and Travis. It was a bit of an indie day today. Travis and the Manic Street Preachers. I know. It's the sort of thing you don't kind of think about until you well, until YouTube puts them on for you. I've yet to learn how to actually use Spotify. Yeah, I'm that old. Okay, so on the day when Libra turns into Scorpio, around... Blah, 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 when is that happening? Oh my God, I've just taken my readers off. Libra's turning to, I don't know, does it even say? It always says. Right, hang on. The £1.79 readers are going on. Um, it doesn't. It's obviously got so much else to say. So at some point, the moon is sliding into Scorpio as if sliding into someone's DMs. And then the sun is setting at 21.21 every night until it starts to... Oh, that's okay. It still goes on quite a long time. It starts to decline at the end of the month on the 28th. I know. Into sad times. I know. I'm already anticipating the long winter nights. and We're not even into the summer yet. Right, I'm going to stop rabbiting. I'm going to find some cards. Let's have some wild offering because these are very, very um, positive. That's the word I'm looking for. It's sunny. <laughs> it's windy and it looks like there could be a thunderstorm. This is British weather for you. A fast moving thing. The British weather is news in itself. News in motion. So yeah, we have a massive gathering of clouds ahead that looks really broily. Okay. Oh, nice. Itchy noses. £1.79 specs. Allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. This is about mistakes. Good colour, isn't it? Allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels loved no matter what. I feel like I was a very stroppy inner child because every time I hear it, I do a growl and like make a real kind of kid in the corner face. I'm gonna take a couple more of these. I'm gonna have to now it's said that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the colours are amazing on these. Health. Actually, I went out to a restaurant and I can't remember what the cuisine is. Might be Lebanese. And it looked a lot like this. A lot like that. And it had a lot of chickpeas. It had meze or meze, whatever they call it. And it was amazing. Food just kept like turning up in bowls 
like that and this and that and the other and then it was um it was in an extremely old building and when you went up the stairs i swear to god they were practically vertical <laughs> and there was three or four floors but it was like you know like on harry potter when they have the night bus and when it's going to go between vehicles it actually gets thinner and it's really crazy and the person who's driving it's crazy and the whole bus is going about 100 miles an hour that's because if you've ever lived in london and those of you that have lived in london if you ever do go on the night bus particularly like back in the 80s and 90s we used to call it the fright bus because it was like never mind whether there was someone on there you know that was just like a lunatic or whatever but the whole the driver and everything everyone had let it all go by 3 a.m well it felt like this restaurant was squeezed into this medieval building with these medieval stairs that had no grab rail so you went up to use the loo and when you came down it was just like this so if you fell forwards that was it i know it was interesting the food was incredible and the decor that kind of look and color right health allow me divine to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments i may have may i always know it's doing the best it can help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form sometimes my body feels a bit like that wonky building <laughs> work this one's yes i'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work use me to relieve suffering on the planet may all who need me find me the divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide i'm feeling oracle -y cardy today so i'm going to get some more oracle -y cardies to go with that oh yes these are weird because they're moon ones, but they don't have to be the right moon, if that makes sense. Moon cards. Also can't remember, because I don't know where on earth the box is for these. Cannot remember for the life of me. See, I don't know even know. Oh, okay. I'll take two of these. Nice. So we get intuition, which is a triple moon. And is that a griffin of some kind? <coughs> is that a toucan? Toucan play at that game. I know. Oh, before we ate at the restaurant, everyone in the group had to say a joke. And I only have one joke. So would you like to hear it? It's the same joke I've had for about 40 years. And it is, have you heard the one about the magic tractor? It turned into a field. It always makes me laugh, but it is my only joke. So let me know if you have a joke in the comments section. Try and keep it reasonably clean. You know, it's YouTube and everything. Um, but yeah. Let me know one, you get one joke each. Let me know your one joke, your one good joke. Intuition, triple moon, lunar energies. Okay, lunar energies. And vitality, well, that's good to know. That's a salamander, I sort of, I think, something along those lines. And fire, vitality, waxing moon three. So, um, I've been saying in a lot of the monthly readings and the mid-month readings um, that fire has been creeping into other signs. And it's been very interesting how that's played out. So just know that fire might be kind of helping you out, lighting a fire underneath you, okay? We've got mistakes, we've got work, we've got health. It's like the whole bit really, isn't it? We've got intuition and we've got fire. Nice. Nope. Oh my God. That's nice. We get the thinker. So you might find that today you have very deep thoughts. You might be thinking through what you're doing for work. You might be thinking through mistakes that you've made, ways that you can improve your health. 
dancing in the kitchen, etc. By the way, both cats joined me today. It's a rare sight. Look, we've got mum and daughter, Leia and Val. Very happy. It's ra it was raining this morning, so they're very happy to be inside at the moment. And then we also have Loyal Heart slipping in at the end. That card's been coming up more than it used to. You know, it's one in 42, I think, the odds, because there's 42 cards. Could be one in 41, I'm not sure. Never. Maths face. But look, it's a loyal heart. And we're never going to kick that out of bed for eating crisps, even cheesy Watsits, or Monster Munch pickled onion. But of course, we have the caveat that beef, we show them the door. Okay, leave me a comment. Let me know your one joke, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.